Hello and welcome to Aeronautics Academy. Today I'm going to be talking about joystick setup and the two different styles used for flying. The traditional way to fly an airplane and the way to fly a spacecraft. I'll be referring to the traditional way of flying as bank and yank and for a spacecraft I'll just call it space sim. Here we have on the left a space sim model and on the right bank and yank. Um, the model on the left should actually be rotating near the center of the craft and not on the rudder but I couldn't figure out how to do that. <laughs> So here we go. The main points is why should you learn how to fly space sim controls and not stick with the digital bank and yank system for a star citizen? Well, simply put, it cleans up your input and makes it easier to control the craft itself. So a quick history lesson. Bank and yank is a system that you'll use when you want to fly an aircraft in an atmosphere. So specifically, let's look at the surfaces on the model on the left. If you want to yaw, you only have the yellow control surface to change the orientation of the ship. Um, and if you look there, if you're traveling forwards at great speed and you have the small little yellow rudder there to turn you, you're not going to make, it's going to take a lot of input to change and you're going to have to counter the momentum. And there's no other control surfaces on the plane to counter that momentum. So you'll have to overturn or ease into it. And it's just going to be a slow turn. Now, if we look in the top right, you see the bank and yank uses a two-step approach. Bank, using the green ailerons, and then yank, which is pulling back on the red elevators. Why is this quicker? Well, you can roll the ship because there's not a lot of momentum in the rolling of the ship. It's It has more forward momentum, and we'll get to that in a second. But the, the roll left and right, you can change really quickly, and that's not impacted by the size of the wings itself. So now that you've rolled, you pull back on the stick, hitting the red elevators, and that is going to cause the plane to turn as you see it there. As the ship turns, the momentum is actually canceled out by the fixed wings, and that's going to make you turn really sharp. So if you've ever played a traditional flight sim game, that's how you turn quick, and that's how you control the, the, the plane. So next here, I'm going to move on to a part I recorded earlier, and that's how to set up the joystick specifically for a Star Citizen. So to map my joystick, I don't use the in-app tools. I use a tool called SC Joystick Mapper by Cassini, and I'll provide a link for it in the details below. His website has instructions in English and German, and uh, they're really good, really to, easy to follow instructions. So I won't go through using this. Basically, what you want to do is have it set up so that it's easier for you to understand and it's intuitive. So, first of all, what I do want to talk about is the control of your craft, and that is pitch, yaw, and roll. So in a traditional banking yank system, roll is actually mapped to your X, but I don't have that done. So what I do have is your pitch, which is the up and down movement of the craft, mapped to the forward and back movement of the joystick the left and right turning of the craft mapped to the left and right turning of the joystick and then the roll of the craft mapped to the rotation or the twist of the joystick and that's all I'm going to be talking about here so in the bottom left hand of the screen here you'll see the throttle and the bottom right hand of the screen you'll see the joystick first off I'm going to do some yawing using the traditional banking egg setup see twist it to the left twist it to the right and the ship turns yaws left and right pull it back forwards that's all normal okay roll it yaw to the left there we go okay so see now I'm trying to do complex movements and probably the most important bit here is well one I've forgotten how to fly bank and yank apparently and if you want to go up and to the left you have to pull back straight and then twist the joystick if you go a little bit to either side you're going to end up rolling and you're not going to end up where you want to be so now I'm going to switch over to Space Sim. And here we go. Joystick back. So here we go. Move the stick to the left, goes to the left. Move it to the right, goes to the right. And then the traditional inverted, forwards and backwards, with a little twist in there, doing the twist. So in theory, it sounds like it makes sense, but if you can't, take a look on how controlling the ship is for the space in here to turn and do let's see I'm doing a full turn and I wanted to touch down a little bit and all I have to do is tap forwards on my turn here we go I'm gonna twist 
and then I'm going to go down. See, oh, I did crash. That's not a good example. <laughs> so we'll just wait for it to reset here. You always want to make sure you turn your booster off when you crash so you can turn it back on. Otherwise, it won't reinitialize. So not much here. Here we get ready. Quick little cut there with little lateral turns. Um, here we go. You're going to see the twist and then the turn followed by some vertical correction. There. It's a nice sharp little turn. This one, I think I missed it here. But you'll see, take a look at how, I think if you look directly at the joystick, you sort of can see the, the ship moving in your peripherals. And you can see how when you're flying a spaceship, these controls just make sense. When you're flying an airplane, sure, the other way makes sense, and, and that's what you should be doing. But, you know, when you are flying a spaceship, you really need to be getting the most out of your joystick because you are you should be going much quicker. So here again, we'll see, we turn left, up, a little bit of corrections, and they're very easy to make the corrections. It's not like if you're forwards on the joystick and then you have to correct to the left, you have to rotate it too. When you rotate your hand, you could roll it inadvertently. So it really takes those two functions that aren't connected. Pitching and yawing should not be directly connected to rolling in a spaceship, and that's what we see here. Well, at least in the when you're learning. There. Nice and easy. I caught this too early. This one I caught early. Yeah, too much turn. I do that a lot. Alright, so for this next lap, it's probably best if you just look at the joystick in the bottom right hand corner and then watch the spacecraft in the peripheral vision. Um, you'll see how much and how little input I'm putting into the control stick if you want to gauge your own reference But you know, like I say all the time practice is what's going to win you these races and um, Watching me play is it's going to help I believe but it's not going to be the deciding factor It's going to be practice. So here hard over a little bit left pulling back on the stick a little bit Quick nice and smooth probably could have saved a little bit of time through there going a little sharper But you know, I'm just keeping it as quick as I possibly can quick turn perfect so if you're looking at the bottom right there it's a little messy but you can see how all of the corrections i needed to do there were yaw and pitch they weren't roll so all i had to do was move the joystick around i didn't have to push forward and twist while keeping it exactly in the center while pushing forwards so here we go it's turning turning a little bit there did a little twist so i could line myself up on this lap that's something that you should learn in time um, here's a fun little section to shoot. Ooh, <laughs> scrape the paint on the bottom of that one. And then right on home to the last stretch. So, my phone died, and that's why the video stops here, because I lost my throttle. Um, if you have ideas for other videos, or, well, I guess most specifically, if this wasn't as clear to understand, or if you have other questions on why you should be flying with, the uh, the space sim setup and not bank and yank please comment below or, or shoot me a message i'll get back to you and just know that it took me a considerable amount of time to learn how to fly this new way like four hours of flying before it was second nature again so don't get discouraged ask questions if you have them and um i'll see you in the verse